If you've got varicose veins, leg fatigue, ankle swelling, or other circulation disorders, your doctor may prescribe compression hosiery, pressured stockings that squeeze your legs, primarily at the ankle, and to a lesser extent in other areas, to help the blood in your veins travel back to the heart. They don't look like ugly old lady stockings anymore. Today's compression hosiery comes in a range of colors, in pantyhose, thigh-high, and knee-high versions. The doctor prescribes the compression strength you need. That's the pressure at the ankle in millimeters mercury, the same measuring unit used in blood pressure readings. The hosiery is knitted out of stretchy spandex and nylon yarns. The computerized knitting machine interlocks yarn strands vertically and horizontally. This two-direction knit gives the stocking a two-way stretch. However, it's the horizontal yarn in the knit that provides the doctor's strength prescription. They program the knitting machine to produce a run of a specific size and prescription. It automatically varies the stitch and yarn tension to apply 100% of the prescribed pressure at the ankle, 65% at the calf, and 30% at the thigh. Stronger pressure at the bottom point forces blood upward toward the heart. The machine outputs stocking length tubes, which sewers skillfully transform into the final shape. The first sewer turns the tube inside out and stitches the toe closed. Then she stretches those stitches to flatten the seam, so it'll be comfortable on the foot. If they're making pantyhose, another sewer slits that tube partway down the inside of the leg so it can be joined to another leg. The next sewer takes a leg and stitches it to a triangular cotton gusset, which forms the crotch of the pantyhose. These are maternity hose, so she also sews in a stretchy stomach panel. Then she sews a big U-shaped seam at the front joining the second leg to the other parts. Whether it's a multiple component pantyhose or a simple single thigh high or knee high stocking, the production steps from this point on are the same. Workers slide each stocking onto a heated aluminum leg form in the size they're producing in this run. Laser lines show exactly where to align the heel and other parts on the form. Then, one by one, the forms enter a pressurized steam chamber for about four seconds. This quick steam treatment is enough to permanently lock the form shape into the nylon. The form then enters a dryer, where it stops for about 15 seconds. The hot, forced air evaporates the steam-infused moisture. When the stocking finally comes off the form, it's dry and leg-shaped. Workers now group the stockings into 10 pair stacks. Put each stack inside a specific color bag to identify its style and size. Then load the bags in this high-tech dye machine. They key in the program which automatically controls every aspect of dyeing the stockings, from water levels and temperature to dye injection. For one hour, the machine washes the stockings. Then, over the next five hours, it dyes them, adding chemicals to make the water acidic, which draws the dye, like a sponge, permanently into the yarn fibers. The compression stockings, knit, sewn, shaped, and dyed, are now ready to be inspected and packaged. The factory pulls a set number of random samples per day from the production line and tests them on this extension machine. It stretches the hose to test the tensile strength and to measure the compression at the different points of the leg. Every single pair of stockings undergoes a visual inspection prior to packaging. Then the packager neatly folds it around a cardboard insert, slips it inside an adhesive sealed plastic bag and inserts it into the retail box. Compression stockings are classified as a medical device. The sealed bag assures the customer that the stockings are a brand new, unused pair and therefore hygienic.